Alyssa is also on hurricane preparations. Alyssa, how's it going there? Kelly, good morning. We're currently at Duke Energy's Operations Center in Shelbyville, and a lot of Hoosiers are preparing to go down south to help. They're taking with them a lot of water and a whole bunch of equipment. About 700 employees with Duke Energy, including some contractors, are going to be heading down there. One of those is Duke Energy Supervisor Tom Ordway. And Tom, you're planning to leave at 7 o'clock. What's the plan from there? Uh, today we're going to uh, make it to Macon, Georgia, try to get there early evening, um, bed down, uh, regroup, and then uh, move on to Orlando the next day on Saturday. How long have you been with Duke Energy? Uh, 24 years. This is not the first time you've been called upon to help out? Uh, this is not the first time, that's correct. When was that last memory for you? Um, that was uh, Hurricane Michael um, last fall um, in the panhandle of Florida. It was a um, pretty humbling experience for me. Yeah. That picture perfect memory. And yeah, well. Changed your life forever. Uh, sure. Uh, just. Uh, Knowing that um, I need to be grateful for what I have because when I got down there, uh, people's lives were turned upside down and uh, we're, we were there to help and serve and uh, it was uh, just eye-opening to me. It's like I just need to be grateful for every normal day that we have here. So, yeah. Um, thank you so much. We'll all take that to heart this morning as we're thinking of all those people in Florida. And back to you in the studio, Julia, Karen, right. and Kelly. Yeah, well said.